Angelo here. Welcome to my channel, and welcome back, viewers, to my stream. This is going to be something different here. As you can see, I am messing around with the PS4 remote play. Now, I already had my credentials logged in. Um, what's Takato was my old PlayStation 3 handle. So I am now switching some things around. I'd like to keep a high frame rate. Um, maybe just go standard. Okay, let's we'll just go standard. Just see how it is. Um, you'd like to have a smooth, you know, video game play. Um, basically, I already have everything logged in, um, and I've already connected to my thing before, but now I notice that some people, especially me, um, had a problem whenever I would try and connect. Now, <clears throat> this one is originally, you have to, this is going from a rest period, so obviously there is a full document telling you what you need to do. As far as the PC side, it's very easy. You just need to, um, install the PS4 remote play, uh, get in your little, um, login credentials, which one you want to go to. The hardest part is just going through and changing all the options inside of uh, your PS4. If anything, I think it's just waking up the overall PS4, but this is going to be a failed run. All right, see, it's registering. Now, what you're going to see is it's probably going to get, it's connecting to the PS4. It's going to load up, but then it's going to crash. At least that's the problem and the thing that I've seen and what's happened to me before. Let's see if it happens right here. You will see a quick little outbox of everything loading up, and then it will crash. And the reason that happens, I will show you in a second, and I'll show you how I fixed it and was allowing me to go ahead and play through and use um, remote play through PS4. The number one thing is you have to keep it in rest mode. So basically you got to keep it plugged in and make sure that little red, red light's on. If you fully power it off, you will not be able to access it this way. Okay, and as you saw right there, it worked, and then it crashed just like that. So, what you do is you go here to your icons on the bottom. Now, I was using this program called MSI Afterburner. It comes with this little program right here called Riva Tuner Stats. So, from here, you would just go through and close it, the Riva Tuner Stats, which is bundled in with MSI Afterburner. Try that again. Then you would just load this thing back up again. Sign in. Okay. And by turning that thing off right there, it should work. It's the exact same problem I was having when I was uh, going through and um, messing around with Resident Evil 5 with things like DirectX and it wasn't working. Once that overall works, you close out the Riva Tuner stats, which... For me, that's where I get the biggest problems, and aside from that, that's pretty much the number one thing that I have problems with. And there we go. <laughs> this thing is quite loud, isn't it? <laughs> but there you guys go. So, that's how I'm able to remote play. So, hope this video helped you guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.